All right, now let's say you want to bring in the one with the assets. Now there's lots of assets in this. So we've already got a project started. We've already got scene track working. Now if you if you decide you want to use the assets but you've already installed scene track, it's no problem. All you have to do is you can actually go to import the package, custom package, and we can just pull in the assets package right here. And this might take a little while because it's about 400 megabytes of files because it also includes Unity's standard assets. So we've taken assets that we've generated and also Unity's standard assets. I would suggest that you just import all of them. Here there's going to be a couple little things flagged because we are replacing things that already exist, which is totally fine. So we'll just import all of it. And this will give you all of the demonstration assets that we use, as well as some things that you can just start playing with and experimenting with. So now what we should have is, let's check out our folder structure a little bit. We should have assets. Well, let's just check out what's here. We have the plugin folder and scene track. We have the documentation like we showed before. But what we now have is we have sample content. I have some various exports that we use in the demonstrations. I have some models that we actually use, FBX models. Then we have some prefabs, and the prefabs are actually rigged up in Mechanum so that they're ready to assign motion to and bring into the timeline. These are full scenes that you actually see in the demonstrations, so you can start playing around and testing these and record them and export them if you want. And then we have the timelines, and these are some of the timelines that are referenced in some of the projects that allow you to play back the scenes and use them more like movies in Unity. Additionally, we've got the sample scenes from Unity itself. So these come from Unity's standard assets, not, not the assets for Unity 4.5. I think it's standard assets one point something. Um, now the, we just grabbed the most basic stuff and that'll give you everything that you need to just start playing around and follow the tutorials along. That is everything that's there. So you should see the same things when you go into your assets folder. You should see the exact same things in here. Sample content and everything should be there. And we can start opening some of these scenes. There you go. Okay, so the other process I'd like to show you is bringing something in maybe from the zip files. Let's say maybe you already had the scene tracker installed or you have a project already on the go and you want to be careful about how you put the files in. I don't know, if you're more of an experienced user, this might be how you go. So we decided to include the zip files for you. So here we go. We have the scene track file, zip with assets. I'm going to skip through here. Once the file is extracted, you'll be able to navigate to the assets folder. We don't need anything else, just the, either the plugin folder to bring in the scene tracker, or if you want the sample scene and standard assets that come with Unity or with the Unity standard asset pack, you can bring those in. So I'm just copying and pasting all three of them. And if you paste all three of those in your assets folder, it will give you all the plugins, the sample material, and everything you need for the tutorials. The zip file isn't something I'd recommend for beginners, but if you know what you're doing and you want to grab specific things, it's all in here. Okay, so that covers it for all the different ways you can install the scene track plugin with or without the scene assets into your Unity project.